man, just two long plays uh, already. Uh, just really, really fun to see him. And it was kind of one of those things where, where you were kind of like, is this real? Like, are we, what, what we are watching, is this real or is this kind of like a flash in the pan? And so that I mean that's quite that's what the rest of these games are for. But for for this day, he was one hundred percent real, for sure. I mean, and it's okay. You you hear it and you see it on you know because that's what social media is. But it's a poor man's what I was hoping it would be with Trey. You see off script plays you see movement and mobility um out of the pocket you see him challenging the defense downfield i mean those are the things that i was hopeful you know that you know that trey brings to the table is brock purdy trey no he isn't is brock purdy a quarterback one no he isn't he is davis mills Taylor Heineke light. If you've got that guy as your quarterback one, you're looking for a Trey Lance. But what he can totally be is Colt McCoy. If he's your QB two, you're good. You know, he can come in, he can win you some games, he can do some good stuff for you. But let's not try to make this dude something he's not. He's not a nine-figure face of the franchise quarterback. Stop. But he can win you some games, and hopefully, what we're in the witnessing is what I'm hoping is his Lynn Sanity moment. I hope <laughs> he's able to catch lightning in the bottle for six to eight weeks and end up with his jersey in the Hall of Fame with a really cool story about <laughs> for how eight weeks he caught that lightning in the bottle and he won a Super Bowl. That's what I'm hoping for okay now, now I, i'm not gonna argue with you uh, about this but what i will say is s this could be his I, I, i'm not saying he's gonna be kurt warner because i think kurt warner with those good rams teams he sh like it was like okay we're, if we're just throwing I, i'm gonna be able to put the ball it, it was you know a lot of it was him a lot of it was just those weapons and then when he moved out of that Ram system, he still had a good career. He still had uh, years where he took Arizona. Um, mm -hmm. and, and I think, did he, did he also end up on the Giants? But He struggled with the Giants. But basically what I'm Giants. saying is the fit with Purdy and what the 49ers do might make sense, whereas him on another team, like you – I mean, you put any quarterback with with a with a team that doesn't have any weapons, and, and they're not going to do. Well. I mean, look at someone like uh, even Aaron Rodgers, as great as Aaron Rodgers is. Look at Brady, as great as as Brady is, for whatever reason, he is not connecting with Evans and and Godwin like he was last year and the year before. But Purdy, he may be such a good fit with this team, where on this team he might be real, and then on another team, you know, when when he makes his money and this is what it is really is like oh he can he can play he's not i mean he's playing for this team right now but his future is more than likely on whenever his contract is up and he can actually go go show his his demo reel to to another team right uh, and we've seen we've seen those moments in the past with i mean you know we mentioned uh, uh Nick Foles are, are already right like when when you know he won the Super Bowl and then he's got to go and, and get signed and then and then now he's you know third string in in Carolina or whatever it is but my point is is that Brock may not be the 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 guy that 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 Shanahan says okay he is our future but in this system he may be a really good player and I think that is sort of to be determined in the playoffs in this thing, he could be uh, a, someone as good of a fit as Kurt Warner was with the Rams, just because of the weapons that he has. I mean, I, I totally, I mean, I agree that he, he's, he has shown me enough already that, that he's a player in this league. 
where he is on the hierarchy is what I question because I'm I'm a tools guy. You go back to the tools. I've seen him on the field. I, I've watched him do his thing. He is just, he to me. He just doesn't have the tools of a quarterback one. Whereas Kurt Warner, I mean, he had he was you know a big guy with good tools, very accurate. Could put it put it on people, and then like you say, once you put him in a in a system where he's got a ton of weapons, he can do his thing. I just believe from my years of experience watching the NFL, if a dude like Brock Purdy or Taylor Heineke is your quarterback, you're always looking at the door for the next guy. If mm-hmm. you nobody's ever, no GM or coach is going to put their faith in that guy as the dude. I don't believe, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe. Who does he remind you of who you've seen in the past? And and some of this is like, oh, great in college. And then when they came to the pros, maybe not not as great. Uh, there's Tim- one there's one person in the, in the back of my mind who he reminds me of. But I feel like if that's his ceiling, then it's not it's not going to be great <laughs> to me. When I look at that dude, I think he's like a poor man's Chad Pennington. Mm. Interesting. You know, Chad was a, was a he was a really really good athlete. He was a basketball player, so he he legit was an athlete. So I don't think he I don't you know he's a better athlete than Jimmy, and he is like an above average athlete for a quarterback. Mm-hmm. But like somebody like Chad Pennington was like a legit legit athlete, like kind of like like Tannehill is like a legit athlete. Yeah. Um, he's not just a good athlete for a quarterback. He's going to be one of your best athletes on the team. I mean, he's not like a DB athlete, but he's a good, he is a legit athlete that can make plays. I don't think that Brock is that, but I mean, he, again, the proof is in the pudding. He can get out there. He can make a play. Um, that touchdown run was legit. <laughs> you know, he saw it and he went and got it. And, yep. you know, that is what we need in this. Um, sorry, my dog is <laughs> sneaking up on me. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, I I think when I when I look back and look at it from like a ten thousand mile view, which you know we're in it right now, and it's hard to do. I am really, as a 49er fan, I am kind of happy with what our quarterback room looks like moving forward. I think with him and Trey, I think that's a, a really good mix. Because, again, I, I've i seen that dude up, up close and personal. And, again, I haven't seen anything even on his tape when he's played. I, throughout those first two games, you know, in my opinion, um, because I've, like, looked at when you go, you know, online we get into these arguments about mm-hmm. and everybody wants to bring up like Patrick Mahomes which is one hell of an anomaly how many in the hundred years of starting quarterback how many dudes have won an MVP in their second season like three or four I, so to me what I'm going to compare Trey to is the other thousands of guys who in the hundred years of playing quarterback, what they've done in their first four games, I'm not comparing them to Patrick Mahomes. So let's not do that. So I, I still think there's a lot there. Um, and I know some people are like bust on this guy already, which I think is ridiculous. But um, again, we'll see. We're, we're, what is What we know is it's going to play out. We're going to see what happens the first week of OTAs. Yeah. We're gonna see what happens the first week of training camp. Well, tra- I mean, Trey, I... yeah, Trey's definitely coming into camp as as one. But if Shanahan wanted to create a little bit of competition, he could. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, and, and and he and, probably should. And Brock and Brock will will definitely be right there. The, the, here's my comparison. Here's a person who he reminds me of, and this probably ages me a little bit, but Ty Detmer. When okay. Ty Detmer was in college, that dude was just just moving chains and throwing touchdowns. And and his game, 
he was okay in the NFL, but his game didn't really uh, transition into to what the NFL needed. There was a there's another guy now. Nobody is is as fast as this guy. But you remember when Andre Ware was in Houston and he was doing the run and shoot? Um, that's a little bit of a different style. But he also was like he just moved the ball. He's throwing for like five thousand yards, throwing for five hundred yards a game, and that's kind of like what Brock was in college too, doing it at a smaller school and 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 not the you know n- not winning conference championships or anything. But like you have those guys who their job in in college is really like the whole offense is built around their ability to uh, to throw on first, second, and third down. And so he's got he he he's able to come in and because he's got so many reps being a four-year player in college and that's what trey is really missing is just the reps he just didn't have the reps in college dealing with the covid thing and then taking the year off like he just didn't doesn't have the reps that someone like brock has so that's why at least i think why when it comes to their decision making brock is a little bit more like assertive where trey is kind of like he, he he's kind of waiting a little bit more, but yeah, I, you know, I, I, but it's I all think about reps. That um that Ty Detmer um comparison is really good because Ty Detmer. I don't know if he I don't know if he if he didn't win it. I know he went to New York for the Heisman. I mean, so he was a legit player. Um, and I think both of those comparisons that you made, like a Ware or a Detmer, those were guys that you know. In their cases, they were, you know, 25 years too early. Those are both guys who would really would really flourish in this version of the NFL in a way that, um, you know, they didn't. The the league just wasn't set up for those guys to be as successful as they could be now. But, you know, that and that's legit. And the thing that you mentioned about um, that's the 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 dichotomy of it is like somebody like um like you said you're 100 right um brock benefited from all those reps he got in college and that's something that trey doesn't get but you know but trey doesn't get those those reps because guys as talented as trey don't stick around for four years because they are top five picks brock purdy sticks around for four years because he's the last pick in the draft. Yeah, Just the yeah. way the system works. Right. His his skill set, ain't nobody out here checking for that at the top of the draft. So he might as well stay and get as much experience as he can because guys like Parcells back in the day, that was a big thing for him is dudes who had 40 or more starts. That was – that was like one of the top things in his checklist. But the fact of the matter is, is um that was why that his like checklist was, you know, obsolete because nobody who is anybody, you look at somebody like in this year's draft cycle, somebody like Anthony Richardson, who's probably going to be taken in the top of the first round, who is raw as hell, mm-hmm. but there's no way he's ever going to get, 40 starts. I mean, he's just too good. He's just too good. Guys, guys with the skill with the toolbox that the NFL is looking for are never going to stick around for 40 starts. It just it doesn't make any monetary sense for them to. Just shows you when I was watching the most college football. Andre Ware won the Heisman in 89. Ty Detmer won it in 90. Uh so that's like that's like late 80s, early 90s is really like my big college football viewing time i don't really i don't watch it uh too much anymore but uh so i was always gonna pull someone from that Mm -hmm. yeah i know what you mean 